uh, here is the mutancy version 5 uh, I attached the HDMI output to my monitor that's here and here you can see the mouse output here is moving it's hard to move it and here the keyboard output and it's working today's sponsor is pcbv they have pcb printing service starting from five dollars you can order 10 pcbs in nine different colors here they also have 3d printing service which is very reasonable go to the third section of the website and click 3d printing service and add your own stl file choose materials and other features and get a price check out their 3d printing service and pcb printing service from the video description below hi guys so i wanted to make a end of the year video uh, talk about what's next and what I'm doing and what are the problems right now and what I'm doing to fix it. One major issue that was hindering the development that was USB not working from CM4 that any other USB port here. So first of all the CM4 have two USB mode one is OTG and another one is device mode so we care about the OTG mode so here uh, these two lines are the USB and this long line was the how you want to put the two modes so if you put the uh, this pin that is OTG pin to ground then it gives you uh, OTG in this USB if it's pulled high in 3.3 volt then it gives you the device mode so with that device mode you will program the CM4 that has the EMMC memory so this one don't have EMC memory so this one have the SD card so if you have a CM4 that has a EMMC memory then this same USB port will be used to program that EMC memory so by putting this pin to high in 3.3 volt this CM4 will act as a storage then you will format that storage with your own OS that's how you will program the CM4 that has EMC memory to put the USB in uh, OTG mode or hub mode so I need to put this pin to low so I'm doing that and everything and trying out, but uh, it's not, I'm not getting any USB out. So the USB pin, this two pin comes out here, then it goes to a switching device. So this IC put this USB pins either to the USB hub here or put it to outside that is through fpc so i took this out then directly put my pin here so that means i'm directly connected to the usb pins and it was still i'm not getting any output i tried with um pine 64 this so course and it was working but not with the CM4. Then I thought the board is fine. The problem is with the Raspberry Pi CM4 because it wasn't working. Then I tried with the Pine SO course and USB was working fine, but not with uh, CM4 that is from uh, Raspberry Pi. So then I thought uh, my board is okay. Uh, the problem is with the CM4 
then i tried different software tweaks different other config blah 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 it still couldn't figure it out and today i thought uh, the problem might be because uh, i'm using a long usb cable that is coming with the mouse then uh, using this uh, usb c to usb a plug on top of the long uh, cable then on top of it i have the this so that uh, i'm plugging this uh, wires directly here then i'm plugging this long cable uh, usb to usb c to usb a then connecting a usb uh, mouse so then I thought uh, the problem might be because the wire the length was too long. Then I tried to shorten it up directly connecting the mouse. So this is a mouse PCB, directly connecting it to the mouse PCB, then try it out. And it's still not working. Then I tried to verify if this connection is correct by putting the SO course and it's not working then i thought like uh, this was working fine the usb but the problem was with the raspberry pi but when i'm connecting now this it's not working i just uh, had a thought that maybe the connection between this 100 fpc uh, sorry this 100 connector is not working so i tried to push this side here then suddenly it was working so then i connected the raspberry pi uh, by pushing it down slightly then suddenly the usb is working so as you can see the usb mouse is initialized then this light is on then in my pc it shows up as a dell usb mouse so all of this, all of the debugging, um, months of debugging, months and months of debugging that all came up to nothing, then the problem was simply the connection was loose. I am beyond frustrated, but again, it's working. So we are on back on track and at the end of year it makes me happy to see that finally everything uh, that needs to work it's working right now now i have to uh, again solder this out then uh, try the usb hub with the switching ic that was here this one then after that, uh, I think I will fix some uh, other issues like fix this, uh, remove this part, then connect it directly. Then after that, hopefully I will get a PCB that works and work towards uh, changing the 3D files, then releasing the 3D files, also releasing this uh, working PCB but that doesn't mean uh, you can go and download those file and build your own meet and see because uh, there's lots of tweaking needed to build this by yourself because i already know how things works that you can see there is some tape and so uh, it won't be easy even if you have a reasonable soldering skill because these pins needs to be par uh, parallel to each other if not then they won't connect and uh, i hand soldered this too and i don't think um if you don't have patience and like a hour or two then it's not possible to solder these two with their correct parallel way or parallelly so you can get the connections right 
so that was happening here the the loose connection was there because this uh, connector was slightly off angled here it was straight here but slightly off angled here but with the pine 64 it was working because i think this connector uh, comes from a different vendor or a uh, something like that it's still i don't think it's possible to solder these two by hand and get a parallel connection uh, with the demo board i can do that i i can waste two or three hours then if it doesn't work then i have enough parts to uh, desolder these connectors and solder a new one but if you are trying to build yourself and just order two of them then if you messed up this then you try to lift it up then resolder i don't think you can able to resolder the one you already used so that will be a tricky thing uh, but still i'm trying to figure out how to do it super easily then also so next on the plate is uh, optimizing these uh, components so some of the values are similar to each other but 0.1 or 2 difference uh, in value so i need to uh, fix those so we have less variety of components and try to verify the after that i will try to verify the enclosure is working with the pcb next i will make a video where uh, hopefully you will see the maintenance version 5 working and have all things put together so it can be released yes um hopefully i'll see you guys in that video bye and happy new year